we're going to create a final gathering pass now. Uh, so we're going to create a new empty pass. We'll just get rid of the region for now, and we'll call that FG. So this is relatively straightforward. Uh, the first thing you want to do is enable FG settings uh, for the render option. So there's a final gathering tab. You want to turn that on for the final gathering settings. Um, and you also want to enable that for the region. So let's just draw a region here. And we'll enable final gathering. So you can see we have a quick preview mode that's enabled. Uh, that gives you a rough idea of what it looks like and then it becomes more refined. Um, so I'm just going to turn on the automatic compute and bring this up to 100 for better quality. And remember as you're experimenting in the region with the settings, make sure to copy these over to the render options when you're done so you don't get any nasty surprises at render time. So there we have uh, our final gathering look. Uh, the majority of the lighting is coming from this grid above and that's actually what I want to extract um, for the table. So we'll just select the table and create a new partition with it. So we'll just name that uh, FG receiver. And what we want to do is apply the photon irradiant shader to that as well. So I'm just going to apply a, a Fong material initially. And then in render tree, I can quickly add the photon irradiant shader. So there you can see we're just rendering the actual final gathering uh, map right now. So you can quickly look at the alpha. That's what I want. And the last thing to do is just turn off primary rays for everything else. So select the background object partition, get property override. And we're going to mark the primary rays and just disable that. And there we have our final gathering pass.